Hello campers, thanks for joining me to learn about making a backyard bird feeder. We figured we've been learning so much about birds this week that it might be a lot of fun to make a little bird feeder out of some popsicle sticks and some yarn that you got from your craft kits uh, that you can hang near a window so that you can check out the birds that we have in our very own backyards. All right, in addition to the items from your craft kit, you are going to need a pair of scissors, um, some hot glue sticks, I have a hot glue gun here. I'm using my paper bag for my craft kit to protect my work surface. And I also have a bowl of ice water. Now, I want you to have an adult with you when you do this craft project because it does have a hot glue gun and a hot glue gun can create some serious burns. My fingertips attest to that. So I like to have a bowl of ice water, even as an adult, I need the bowl of ice water here because if I get hot glue on my fingers, I need to be able to make them cool right away um, so that I can minimize any damage to my skin. Um, an alternative to hot glue would be something like um, uh, original tacky glue, Aliens original tacky glue. I'm not sure how permanent that will be out in the weather, but then again, I'm not so sure how permanent the hot glue is. So we will um, get started though and we will be able to enjoy the birds for a while. And luckily we have enough popsicle sticks in our storage unit that you can make millions of these if they fall apart. So we can do them every year. Okay, so we're gonna get started here in a minute and form the base of our bird feeder. All right, so you can see that what I've done here is to lay out 10 popsicle sticks and then I've glued one piece on the edge and I'm gonna take my hot glue and glue the other piece over here. It's gonna kind of look like a raft, um, but this will be the base of our bird feeder. Okay. So this will form a nice foundation for the bird feeder. It looks a little bit like a raft. I'm actually going to flip it over and then in order to make it, I think, a little more secure, I'm going to hot glue two pieces like this. So I will do that now and bring you back in a minute. All right, so now you can see that I have a nice sturdy base. It really does remind me of a raft. Um, I have all 10 of my popsicle sticks and I've got them really um, nicely glued together with straps both on top and underneath. And then I'm gonna build this up kind of like a Lincoln Log House. So I'm gonna put a dot of glue in the corners of these two and lay two more popsicle sticks on top of them. And I'm gonna put a nice dollop of glue on each side. This would be a good job if you have an adult who's doing the glue this is a good time for the girl to build the Lincoln Log House because you're able to put that on without getting anywhere near the glue. It was a little tricky, let me tell you, to get all 10 of these to lie flat whenever I initially started gluing them together. So you might want some extra hands to help you out with that. All right. Okay, so the first layer of our little Lincoln Log House is all ready. Now, I would really like to have a place for the little birdies to perch because my seed is gonna go right in the middle of this. So I'm gonna take, and since we're using these skinny popsicle sticks, I'm gonna take two of them and kind of slide them in here and make a little perch like this. So I want them to be about halfway in, if that makes sense, all right? So I'm gonna move these to the side a little bit. Let's get this lined up. And then I'm gonna put some hot glue down and slide this over. There we go. That is looking good. Made a little more glue in my glue gun. Right. Now I'm going to do the second part of my perch. Slide the stick over. All right. Again, I'm being 
very careful not to touch that hot glue because it is hot, it is sticky. I have been a Girl Scout leader long enough to know that it can burn and that's why I have my ice water right here if I would happen to touch it. All right, so now what we have is a base with a perch. Okay, and I'm simply going to keep building this up like Lincoln Logs until I run out of popsicle sticks. This isn't gonna hold a ton of bird seed, but it's gonna be enough for me to do some backyard observing and get it started. Okay, girls, now I am placing the last set of supports on here. I've just alternated all the way up. I've got all kinds of these wonderful little spider webby hot glue things to contend with. But here we have our base of our bird feeder. You can see from the side that there's a little bit of a gap there but you have a little well and you can put your bird seed in there. Now we're going to take our piece of yarn and I'm going to tie four things in the corner. So first I'm gonna take my nice long piece of yarn and cut it in half. Then I'm gonna take both of those, fold them over, cut them in half again. Now, it's as simple as tying these through one of the corner pieces, just threading them through there and getting them tied. I'm gonna put it through one and then the other. Um, one thing that I would suggest to you is that when you tie this, so you can see how I have it let me give you a better look here. I have it going through one side and the other. All right, in the lowest tier. So I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna tie it off in a knot. So I'm making it very short on the one side and very long on the other. We're just gonna tie this off in a knot. And then in order to make it stay, I'm gonna tie it twice. And before I pull that one shut, Actually, I'm gonna pull it shut the whole way and then I am gonna put a little drop of hot glue on that in order to help it stay. So just really kind of smush it around, all right? So we have one of our corners tied off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other three corners of my bird feeder. All right. Okay, so I just put the finishing touches on my last string there, putting my little bit of hot glue on there to kind of tie it down. Now, a couple thoughts I had, I thought it would be a lot of fun if I could totally jazz up my bird feeder with some Sharpie markers, uh, maybe on the outside where the bird food isn't touching, um, or I might want to see if there's some way I can dye these or stain these little popsicle sticks with um, maybe coffee or tea. So those are all kinds of things you could look into to make it just be that much more of an amazing little bird feeder for you to check out. But for the most part, this is gonna give you something that you can hang near a window and look at the birds in your own backyard. So there's two ways you can think about hanging this. One would be to take all four strings and collect them up in the center and tie them off so that they are creating a little floating table for the birds. Now this would work well for a place where you need to, where you would like to hang it, uh, where you can hang it in one spot off of a hook or a branch. Um, if you have a longer branch, I think you could also tie it or a kind of a crooked branch. You might be able to tie the front and the back, depending on how you orient it on the branch and tie them even in two different locations so that you still have an even hanging bird feeder. 
Now, the last thing that I have to do is put some bird seed in here and hang it up outside my window and check out what is coming near my door. Okay, and now we have our completed bird feeder. I have it tied up, filled with bird food and ready to be hung near my office window so that I can watch for birds while I work.